Hey guys, it's Shikemi or Labisi, the farm lady, and you are welcome back to another amazing, interesting, and educative video. So, I get this question a lot How do I know the quantity of fishes to stock in my pond? How do I know the liters of water my pond can take? now i'm going to be dividing this video into two parts so for the first part we're going to be showing you all i'm going to be showing you guys how to calculate the volume of water in your pond while the second part is going to be on how to calculate the stocking density so i'm dividing this video into two parts so this is the first one because without knowing the volume of water that your pond can contain then you cannot calculate what your stocking density so here is part one and let's get right into it hey guys you welcome back to today's video and we are about to calculate the volume of water that our various ponds or vats can contain. This is the farm lady's whiteboard and this is where I'm going to be doing all that calculation for you so you don't want to make any mistake. Now as we all know people either use a rectangular, a rectangular pond or a cylindrical pond or a circular pond circular so rectangular or circular so these are the two common types of pond shapes we have these are the two common types we have I don't know maybe you're on a star shape or, or, or trapezium but from what I've seen so far the two common shapes of pond I see is usually rectangular or circular now let's go right into how we can calculate the volume of water first in a rectangular pond so guys assuming you have a rectangular pond here is a rectangular pond yeah. now this is your rectangular pond now the length of this pond let's assume is 30 centimeters the width 20 centimeters and then the height for the height you can't calculate the total height what you're supposed to calculate for your height is what you calculate from the fill point so let's say this is the fill point when I say fill point I mean where the water usually gets to when you fill it up or where your overflow pipe stops I don't know if you get my point so where your overflow pipe stops so this is the fill point so let's say the measurement from the fill point to the base is around 10 centimeters 10 centimeters so now this is a typical rectangular pond we already have the length 30 centimeters the width is 20 centimeters and the height from the fill point is 10 centimeters now in order to calculate the volume of water in this tank you have to use the formula length times the width times the height length times what width times height so this is the formula to get what the volume in what a rectangular pond so we have the formula as what length times width times height now for the length we have 30 centimeters then multiplied by the width which is 20 
20 cm then by the height 10 centimeters so multiplying all that together you can use your calculator and calculate with me so let me use my calculator on my phone I don't want to make any mistake at all so 30 times 20 times 10 that is what 6,000 6,000 centimeter cube because we have the centimeters here is 3 because you have to multiply centimeter by centimeter by centimeter that's cm in three places so that gives us what 6,000 centimeter cube now this is what the volume of water in cubic what meters now in order to get a volume in liters because volume of water is usually mostly represented in liters then we have to convert it from what centimeters cubed to what to what to liters so let's convert it so here's our answer so using our conversion table one centimeter cube is equal to one milliliter one centimeter cube is equal to one mil according to what the conversion table and 1000 mil is equal to what one liters are you seeing that guys so according to our conversion table you can check the conversion table anywhere you can check on google one centimeter cube is equal to what one mil why 1000 mil will give you what one liters so guys i wrote it up here again so i can use this area so if one centimeter cube is equal to one mil therefore six thousand centimeter cube is going to be equal with six thousand mil are we guys following therefore it's going to be what six thousand mil and remember we want to con convert it to what to liters now we have six thousand mil here and here according to the conversion um table also it says one thousand mil is equal to what one liters so if one thousand mil equals to one liters then six thousand mil is equals to x that is what we want to find so you cross multiply then you have what 1000 equals 6000 mil then you divide both sides by 1000 when you divide sorry so you divide both sides by what by 1000 right so when you divide it eventually 1000 divided by 1000 then 1000 here divided by 6000 the answer we are going to get is what equals to 6 what liters so this is our answer 6 what 6 liters so our answer is what 6 liters so this rectangular pond will contain what 6 what liters of water bearing in mind what the fuel points bearing in mind what the fuel points so there we have it we will have what six liters as a total volume of water that this fish pond can take so that is it so let's go to the cylindrical pond or circular pond as we might all have it in our farms now the formula for calculating the volume of water in this shape in this cylindrical kind of pond is what volume is equal to pi r square h this pi r square is the area of a circle because every cylindrical um cylindrical pond has a circle on top this this circle so this pi r square here is what the area of a circle multiplied by what the height the height bearing in mind what our fuel point so this is the formula so now let's impute the values the values that we have here 
you know I said from here to here is the diameter right so in order to get the radius this r squared the radius the radius definitely is half of what the diameter so half of this eight centimeter is what is four centimeters so the radius here is what four centimeters so we then say v equals to pi the radius r which is half of the diameter four centimeter square right multiplied by what let me write it here again so v equals to pi four centimeter square multiplied by what the height which is what 20 centimeters from the fill point 20 centimeters so this is it now four centimeters square is what four in two places which is four multiplied by four so therefore volume equals to four centimeters raised to power two is what 16 centimeters square are you getting it? It's equal to what? 16 what centimeters squared multiplied by 20 centimeters. Multiplied by what? 20 centimeters, which is the height. Now we proceed. V equals to, let's multiply 16 by 20. You can use your calculator with me as we multiply it together so we don't make any mistakes at all. So 16 multiplied by 20 there we have what 320 centimeter cube 320 centimeter cube what pi 320 centimeter cube what pi so that is what we have 3 cent 320 centimeter cube pi because we've not still imputed the value of what of pi are you guys following now let's proceed I have to clean I have to clean bear in mind what we have here 320 centimeter cube pi so I'm going to rewrite that I'm going to rewrite that the volume is what 320 centimeter cube pi now the value of pi which is general that we all know the value of pi is what 3.14 so therefore we want to multiply this by pi so volume is equal to 320 centimeter cube multiplied by what 3.14 which is the value or the universal value for what pi so let's multiply that and get our answer in cubic meter so 320 multiplied by 3.14 is equals 1004.8 centimeter cube 1000 and 4.8 centimeter cube so this is our volume in cubic meter now still using the same method we used in the rectangular um, pond that is converting it from cubic meter to liters we know that one cubic meter equals to one milliliter and 1000 milliliter is equals what calls what one liters so here we have this so therefore bear this in mind to the total here is um, v equals v equals so this is our answer so if one centimeter cube like I said before equals to one mil therefore 1004.3 centimeter cube is equals to 1004.3 mil then converting it to liters you have to what divide it divide this by 1000 divide this by what 1000 and then we'll get what 
our volume in liters so let's divide it by 1000 1.0048 liters so this is our volume of water so this is the volume of water this kind of bond can take i hope you guys are following so it's as simple as that so guys there you have it that is how you calculate what the volume of water in your pond and always remember you have to take note of what the fuel point so as not to what get the wrong calculation and like i said in the beginning of this video this video is going to be divided into two parts yes two parts so we've done or we've dealt with the first part which is what knowing how to what calculate the volume of water in our pond now that we know how to calculate this then we can now proceed to part two which is what how to calculate our stocking density so thank you so much guys for staying with me on today's video um the video for the stocking density will be out very soon let's say in two days time or in a week's time so i'm going to be posting that so we can get the total worth package so thank you for watching if you really enjoyed this video give it a huge thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section like this video and share it to your families and friends so guys today's post notification shout out goes to samuel okon thank you so much for the love so far for always commenting on my videos for sharing for the support so far you are amazing thank you so guys i remain your home girl she came your let me see the farm lady and it's bye for now